You hit the shuttlecock to me, to the rear corners. I am about to hit the shuttlecock. Yeah. What do you focus at that moment? The shuttlecock. Shuttlecock. Why? Because if you focus on the racket, the racket might deceive you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Go. <laughs> Perry's answer was Perry will focus the shuttlecock. I asked him why. If he focus the rocket, rocket goes that direction, shuttle can go here. Or rocket goes there, and he might slice it, shuttle goes the wrong direction. Good reason. But I have a different answer. When opponent is uh, making the shot, you must watch his uh, upper body, his rocket, and the shuttlecock all together. Let me explain to you why. Why not only shuttlecock? Watch this. Okay, come, Perry. Just imagine, somehow he's uh, fighting against me, but I have a special technique to change it so he can see my body. All he can see is my weapon. Just imagine, this is you. Suddenly, you don't see me. You can only see the weapon. So, I move this way, but you don't still know I moved here, but weapon is there. But because I'm here, my movement of weapon will go faster. If you fight against somebody who you cannot see, but you can only see his weapon, who will win? Look, this is a weapon, ready? In order for me to use this one, my arm, my shoulder, my body have to use it. I have to move to move this one. If you look at me all together, including my weapon, my body all together, you will detect my intention much quicker. So just watching, focusing the shuttlecock means you are playing against the invisible player. You are playing against the invisible player. You have no information what kind of body posture he has. If shuttle is behind him, or if shuttle is in front of him, or he is about to attack, you have no information. So your reaction will be much slower. Let's say I am playing single. I serve high. Shuttle is flying. When shuttle is flying, I watch shuttlecock to see how high, how far it's going. But my eyes will be, watch my eyes, serve high, I will watch. And then, when shuttle is approaching my opponent, my eyes will go from here to there. There. Watching all together. His rocket, his shuttlecock, his body all together. So eyes should be like that. There. Yes. As Perry said, if you look rocket, shuttlecock, body, he may deceive it. But you should train to see the deceptions. You should be able to see the fake deceptive body action, the fake deceptive rocket action. You should be able to see that. If you train, you can see that you will be able to see the full section 
and you will be able to see the real hit if you train right. So this is uh, to help you to, or to open your ideas. Stop. If I move my right side anything, you go that corner to net. If I move anything on my left side, you move that side. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> so, uh, you can do that with your partner or you can do that with your players. Let them stay there, you stay here and you move a little bit, any part of your body. So, your player or you can develop to see whole things together. Not just the shuttlecock here. You have to see all together. Simply, when you are watching shuttlecock, racket, player together, that is the best way to detect where he is going to hit. Yes, he will make a deception. But when you're training like that, you will be able to see the false deceptions and be able to see the real hitting action. So the answer to that question is not only watching the racket, not only watching the shuttlecock. If you do, you are playing against the invisible player. You must watch whole things together. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs>